Hi, this is Christian Schutter from SAP Experience. Today I want to introduce the content of our accelerated test environment to you. You download the zip file in our Digi Store, and then you have two folders. One is the one with the test script samples and the templates, uh, and the other one is called Overview Management. And there you have different files, and the Management file for managing a test is the testing status master. In this, with this testing status master, you do have a functionality uh, when starting this file, the, the first macro start, then it collects out of a folder which you can define all test scripts, all steps from all test scripts and is collecting those in this uh, register test cases which this gives you an overview of the overall status of the current test going on like integration test one maybe containing 100 different test scripts they are all collected together here based on this collection then we can make different uh, pivot analysis like uh, which roles will have which transaction codes in the future and we also have a status for each single script uh, test script, uh, how many steps are involved and what is the status of completion and we do have the status uh, in the pivot table also related to the different teams. So we can do a very easy at every day and every, every point, every time point in time of testing we can make an analysis and show to the teams where they are. Uh, very helpful and also motivating. Uh, for the testers community. The second important file here is the test file enhancements where we have the important function to translate test scripts from different languages. So you can translate those from any to any language and what is doing in this translation, there is another important file which is facilitated, uh, which is this translation file, where we do have for certain defined areas, the, uh, a predefined translation. And we will, and then it will be taken from here we have predefined phrases, uh, also file names or as for HANA apps. When something is specified here or also transactions, the translation will be taken from this file. If it's not specified in there, then we do have uh, a function that the translation is retrieved from, from Google Translator. And so far we have had very good results in translation. So this means uh, you can create any test scripts in any language, even different languages for certain areas, like there is a team working in Germany, or another one in England or Hungary. And then you can, you can bring this together to one language using this facilitating this translation functionality. So you very much can address the individual capabilities, language capabilities within your team using this. Also, when you're doing, for example, a template rollout project that the template, for example, is created in German language, all the test scripts, and because it's faster and easier for the team in Germany, and then can be easily translated into the rollout country's language, like English, Hungarian, or whatever. Um, very, a very important function, and uh, which I facilitated in certain rollout projects, uh, just collected the test scripts which are relevant for a certain rollout country, uh, put them in a separate folder, run the translation, gave it to the local people and they could start with a local implementation partner to simply run the processes mm -hmm. in the configured and prepared SAP system. Um, we have also here a reset function for reset test mm -hmm. files, which means uh, to reset the dynamic area of the test files 
We have a static area where we do have all the, the steps like transaction and also the master data which we are using. And we have the uh, dynamic area where we're documenting the test results. Who has tested, uh, what document has been created, the date. And if we do this reset of test files, we, this is for pre preparing a new test cycle. Uh, we are simply resetting the, dyna uh, the dynamic area and all steps will be put on open again and we can start our next test cycle. With the latest status of test scripts produced in the previous test. So this is evolutionary test script completion and development. We have also some replaced functions, which I will probably uh, then explain in separate videos. Here's also a function to check the links, which are sometimes built uh, accidentally into the test scripts and remove those. Okay, this was the enhancements file, the translation file and the status master. Then uh, I've also put in, in here uh, uh, a little open source tool which is called Jo Rename, uh, which you can, which is a program uh, which can very easily be used to rename a certain part of the file name of all files stored in one folder. Like when I've when I've stored my all my test scripts, like 250 for integration test one in the integration test one folder, and I move them and they are all starting with IT1, for example, and I move them to the user acceptance test folder because we have completed the integration test uh, one, then I can simply in all test scripts using this little tool, rename all in all 200 files on one spot, uh, all IT1 to UAT, for example. And therefore I've uh, put this into this zip file because it makes it makes the life a bit easier. Um, you will find all these functions which I've explained also documented here in the documentation file and you can read it here and just try it and if you discover any error during your uh, handling or testing we are always there to help. Um, I have in the background a very good, uh, excellent macro programmer who has developed all this stuff and he is very fast uh, in, in fixing any kind of errors or explaining what has done wrong and what you need to consider to make it correct the next time. Thank you very much and hope you will start using this pragmatic accelerated testing environment. This was Christian Schütte from SAP Experience.